Robbie here. I've got uh, Brendan Smith from Scudo. We're here on a job site in San Jose. Um, I just wanted to talk to Brendan a bit about how important protection is on you know all sites that we visit. Um, what, do you, what do you think about here, mate? What are your thoughts? On, on well, service, service protection at the end of the day is really a sacrificial layer for any damage that can happen to the surface, whether it be vertical or horizontal on a job site. So for example, behind us we've got a we've got a man lift, a chisel lift. You know, those things get uh, they leak hydraulic fluid, they can have uh, screws and tire uh, and nails in, in, in the tires. That's 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 its practical aspect of them working. They're doing their bit, they they need to get on with it. Other other things that are often a cause of uh, damage on the job site, if you look up here you can see that the pipes, the pipes have all been installed before they went in, before those went in, they were cut. Pipe cutting machines need lubricants, and, and if those get into a floor, and the trucks can't get them out. There's other other things like uh, when they mark out the concrete and the track walls. So these walls here, for example, they would have markings on, on, the, on the floor itself. So when those markings are on the floor, it's very hard to get out, especially if it's going to be a decorative surface, and, and that's mainly mainly the issues we, we run into. And even just the general debris and everything, scratching, staining yeah, the surface yeah, and spills, stuff, right? Yes, yeah, so it's and stains. That is critical. It is very critical to have surface protection. Right? Yeah, and it's so much easier to protect it up front than to come back and repair it later on. At the end of the project, when you've got a punch list a mile long, and you, then you're trying to get all the trades to come in and fix this stuff. So if, even drywall, like if you look over here, there's drywall mud, there's plaster, there's probably some fire stock being sprayed on onto the surface in parts of this building. That stuff is really hard to get out. So on a general construction site, everyone is trying to get this stuff done. They're all in, in, a, in a tight space. And they're all trying to get it done in, in shorter and shorter time frames than what we're traditionally used to. So, in a nutshell, that's that's the reason why if sometimes, again, the new one at the surface, it's, it's better to protect it up front than to come back and repair it later, especially with the cost of labour and materials now going through the roof. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks very much, mate. Cheers. Cheers.